I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day and it's not because I am a sad and happy bitter person it is actually because in my country we do celebrate the day of love and friendship on September 14th however today I wanted to do something different something special a surprise for Francisca so I will invite you to subscribe to my channel right now just click the button that says subscribe if you guys want to learn how I put up together this amazing setup and I will totally suggest to watch this video until the end if you want to see the step-by-step -step of this romantic setup dinner right here on the beach thanks to lovely Darlene's picnic in Miami Right now, I'm waiting for Jair, who is an amazing friend and a fantastic photographer. And he's the one who's gonna help me with Francisco's surprise. He's gonna help me right now to go to the location. And once I'm ready and everything is set up, he's gonna come back to my house and pick up Francisco. I don't know what he's going to tell to Francisco. Maybe that they're gonna go play tennis or go to beach or do something because francisco has no clue about this surprise i am still waiting for jair i don't know where he is he's not coming down and i'm already 10 minutes late i'm never late i don't like to be late um i don't get stressed out or anything or anything like that but i just like to be on time <laughs> jair here he comes all prepared with his equipment are you ready to roll So Jair and I just arrived to the location where lovely Darlene's picnic is going to do this romantic setup for Francisco and I so we can celebrate our Valentine's. Ay, un coco se cayó! Oh my god! A coconut just fell out of the palm tree right next to my beautiful setup. So Joan is almost done with her setup. Look how beautiful this looks and the weather wouldn't, the weather couldn't be perfect. The weather is just amazing. My brother told me that it was going to be freezing today, that it was going to be so cold, but it is not. It's actually really hot. Look at this beautiful setup. I guess I really have to be careful on this picnic day. I don't want a coconut falling out of the tree on top of my head, of Francisco's head. Okay, so everything is almost done and I have to ask Jair to go back to my brother's apartment and pick up Francisco and tell him that they're gonna go play tennis or I don't know he has to bring Francisco here I don't know how he's gonna do it because Francisco has no clue that I'm doing this and honestly I never really do surprises for him like this and um, let's see how he reacts <laughs> to it <laughs> I am getting very nervous because we only have two hours of the picnic right after this we have to catch a fly and Francisco and Jay are not here. I've been waiting for them for a long, long time. I don't know what to do. We have to, we have to go back home, pack our bags. And Joanne from lovely Darlene's picnic has to wrap this up very soon because it's a big holiday. She has a lot of clients. So I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. <laughs> okay, so it is already really late Francisco was supposed to be here and I don't know what happened with Jair and Francisco I don't know if they got lost you guys know Francisco and Jair are not from Miami so I'm just gonna ask Joanne if it's possible to extend it for a couple of more hours so Francisco and I can really enjoy our picnic so I hope she say yes I'm pretty sure she will say yes but anyway I have to ask Hi, Joanne. So, 
How do you like your picnic? I love it. Really? I love it. But I have a question. Sure. Well, you know, we were supposed to start like an hour ago yeah. and Francisco is running late. Uh -huh. uh, is there any way that we can extend it an extra hour? I know it's Valentine's Day. I know you're super busy. I'm sure you have tons of clients. Absolutely. I want you to enjoy the picnic. <laughs> I want you and Francisco to have a great time. Thank and enjoy you. the scenery, enjoy Miami. So absolutely. Thank you, thank you My so pleasure. much, so much. My pleasure. <laughs> yes, she said yes. So, okay, now I'm gonna have to call Francisco 20 more times to see where they are. But the good part is that we have this for a couple of more hours. <laughs> My step-by-step -step process was a really fast one since I had to go back to LA. I had to call five different venues and only two of them were able to accommodate me on such short notice. I guess people really plan way in advance for this holiday and of course I always leave everything for last. So out of the two that say yes, only one can do the whole thing since many of them just do the decorations but not the flowers, food and wine. However, since I wanted no wine and something simple, it was easier for them. First, Joanne placed two different carpets on the beach, then she added very cute pink and red cushions on top of them. She placed a white rustic table with some red flowers and candles. Last, she placed the white plates, silverware, picnic basket, blanket, and food. She also brought a very nice speaker, which we never used because I talked too much. And I forgot the lovely umbrella, which was perfect for the shade. In conclusion, it was a very simple, romantic, and lovely setup for my Valentine's surprise. I hope you guys like it! After 1 hour and 15 minutes, finally Francisco and Jair arrived. He has not even seen me yet! <laughs> This is your Valentine's surprise! Wow! <laughs> so beautiful! It's beautiful! You like it? Yes. <laughs> Finally, Francisco arrived and we're about to celebrate our day. I was very, very worried because Francisco is a very busy person. So I was worried when they were not showing up. I was worried that maybe Francisco canceled on Jair last minute, but Jair made everything possible. I'm actually gonna ask Jair right now, what was the, um, the lie that he had to tell Francisco to convince him to come here. So let me just find him. I don't know where he is. I found Jair, so I really need to ask him what did you say to Francisco to convince him to come here? Because I know Francisco is really hard to convince. Yeah, he was taking forever, but we, I told him about my project and I need the website. So mm -hmm. he was down to get me to go come with me to, for a walk and then we finally meet up. Okay, so now I know. So I thought he was gonna tell him that they were gonna play tennis, or did you tell him to play tennis and he said no? No, at first I was thinking like. Playing tennis was idea, but um, I I literally don't don't play tennis either. Ah, so okay, okay, okay. The website was like a, the best trick that I find. Okay, so now I know the trick to get Francisco out of the house. If you tell Francisco it's about work, he will come out because I thought maybe he can tell him let's go and play tennis because they're really good friends. But now you convince him because you need help with your project. So hopefully Francisco will be too will be able to help you with your project in real life <laughs> if it happens <laughs> thank you Jamie. well guys the reason why we are using water instead of wine or champagne is because every year i made a promise that i don't drink for five or six months that's because of the promise and also because i want to detox my body so right now I am in that process of detox. Francisco doesn't really drink, so yes. water. <laughs> we wanted some coffee, but it's really hot. So water is perfect. Honestly, I was very worried before because Francisco was not showing up 
and now we know why but I am so happy with this setup. It looks amazing. The weather complies with me. It's hot, sunny, beautiful. There's not even one cloud in the sky. And look at this. She brought flowers for Valentine's, red candles. We have the grapes. I don't want to eat that much because we have to run after this. We have to go to the airport. But I want to show you something amazing. I love this. This little basket. I really think I am going to invest very soon on a basket like this because I love coming to the beach and I love picnics and this is perfect to have in California as well. Right baby? Yes. Very so nice. maybe that should be my present. <laughs> I could live right here, guys. <laughs> I can totally set up my tan with a lot of cushions and just live right here in front of the ocean. If they allow this, I will totally do that, but I know they, they don't. Okay guys, remember I was telling you that in my country we do celebrate the day of love and friendship. So, because I'm Colombian, I would like to celebrate friendship as well, not only Valentine's. So, I just finished my lovely romantic lunch with Francisco, but now my friends are coming. <laughs> and this is a setup for my friends. We are going to do a Valentine's for all of us together. Yeah. So I wanted to do something special because I never celebrate some Valentine's and I wanted to do it with Francisco, but I also wanted to do it with my friends. So this is a beautiful setup for another couple that is coming up very soon. And one more thing, I really wanted to, to do this right here on the beach because for me, the ocean and the beach it's just the most beautiful thing. It's where I feel in peace. It's where I feel relaxed. It's where I enjoy the most. And that's why I picked this area. We are right now in Crandon Park in Key Biscayne, one of my favorite beaches. Why? Because it is very private. Not too many people come here. And I don't really know why. Maybe I know why. It's totally different from South Beach since you don't have the hotels right next to the beach that can cater you the food and the alcohol so this is more like family oriented a lot of people come here to work out to exercise and yeah that's why I love it as you can see today is pretty empty you still find some chairs and some umbrellas you don't have to rent it it's first come first serve However, if you want to have like some wine or food, you can go all the way down there. You will find the Riz Carlton, which is a video that I did in the past. And over there, you can rent the chairs and the um, umbrella and order some food and some wine and have a lovely afternoon. Oh no, we're leaving. I got all the flowers for myself. I don't want to leave. We have to run to the airport. We're flying back to Los Angeles today and I don't want to. I want to stay in Miami forever. I want to move back and leave my hometown. This is what I love the most about Miami and this is what I miss the most about Miami. I used to run every morning on the beach three miles. And I will run with my bikini underneath. So after I was done with my three miles, I will jump in the water and swim for like 30 minutes. I miss that. Okay guys, so I will have to go because Francisco and I would love to enjoy our special Valentine's Day with this spectacular 
set up right here on the beach but if you guys find some value in this video i would like you to subscribe right now to my channel right there leave a comment and click the notification button and i will see you every sunday at 9 a.m pacific time see you next time ciao ciao